We are back on Fall Guys today, and we got a brand new game mode. That's right, we got Explore Classic, which is, um, basically Explore, but for Unity levels, made by Mediatonic. So basically, solos chill, but you can skip levels. Also, I finally finished the Fame Pass, and I got this brand new outfit, and damn, it's pretty cool. This was like a really good Fame Pass. We had some really nice skins this time round. But yeah, not much has been going on in Fall Guys, because the team, I think, went on a break for a while, for summer break. So now we're back. They're back. They dropped Explore Classic, like, the day they came back as well, which is crazy. This is Fall Guys maps made in Unity. Um, and you can skip a level if you don't like it, and also everyone can qualify. So it is literally just a better version of Solo's Chill, which is pretty nice. Yeah, this is definitely not my target audience game mode. But it is really nice for those people that want to, like, you know, are new to the game or want to practice their already existing maps in the solos rotation. I think this is a good game mode, but I probably won't be playing it, like, at all after I finish this video. But it's definitely nice to have. Come on, let me jump on your head. There we go. <laughs> also, I don't know if this is true, but I did see a picture of someone getting an SS2 variation of Slime Climb. So SS2 versions of maps could hopefully be back. I'm praying. I absolutely love Season 2. And the variations were incredible. Best part of the season, in my opinion. So yeah, if you want to know the rotation of all the maps, the pictures on the screen, that's all the maps in this game mode. You know what? I really want first place here. So that's what I'm going to try and get. Yep, right on the seesaw. Oh, 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 pristine skips from the, from the banana. Oh, banana? What is it, banana? From the, the, the carrot master himself, man. Oh my god. Yeah, this skin really does look like the Golden Knight, but a little bit worse. Hey, it's not like I'll... How is he so far ahead, bro? What? Let me try and do the skip. No. I swear there's a way to do this. Hold up. Wait, there's got to be a way. Can I make it? Yo, you can make that jump now? Holy! That's crazy. I actually didn't know that. Definitely good to know when I'm actually in like a normal solos game. Well, we didn't get first place, but whatever. I wonder if they do unvaults. They'll start adding the maps from the vault into this game mode too. I mean, I really hope so, but like you never know with Fall Guys, honestly. Well, that's another good thing. For like the rare levels that you don't normally get, this game mode is probably perfect for it because you can get any map in the game for the same amount of chance. Whereas, you know, with normal levels there's like round requirements like how many players like player requirements and stuff like that there's so many factors that go into what round is being chosen with this game mode you can just play any of them for the same amount of chance which is pretty nice however i'm pretty sure there's no team games which fair enough i don't really like the idea of playing a team game and everyone's just gonna end up skipping the team level because no one likes them really by the way i like team games I think they're actually really fun. It's very different as well. I like it. But a lot of people don't, and they'll probably just end up skipping it, and it'll probably ruin it if one of the teams have just completely left the game, you know? So yeah, I see why they didn't include those kind of games. I wonder how survival levels would work in Explore. Probably be the same as the Creative Explore, where only a certain amount of people can qualify. But I, I kind of want to find out, actually. Also, I'm pretty sure we got a new Fame Pass in, like, one week, so that's pretty exciting. Yoink. Yay! Oh, I got first place! Hell yeah! Oh, also, this game mode's probably gonna be really good for completing challenges. Obviously, I've completed the fame pass, so I can't actually do that, but hey. And you know what? I don't want to play this level. Fruit Shoot is a terrible map! So you know what? I get to skip! I get to skip! That's the beauty of this game mode, man! I never had to play this goddamn stupid map ever- Okay, maybe I do if I get it in solos, but in this game mode, I'm never gonna have to play it. Also, yeah, this level is absolutely terrible. If you think it's good, then you are objectively just wrong. But like, you can't be saying UT levels are better than creative levels, and then stuff like this exists. Come on, man, you just can't. Also, drop a like and sub, and uh, let me know your thoughts on this new game mode. It's definitely very interesting. A lot of people that are probably watching this video probably hate this game mode. But what you got to understand, it's definitely not for us. It's definitely not for us kind of players. Also, I just played this map, so I'm, I'm going to skip it. I, I don't really like this map, but I'm going to play it anyway, because why not? Yo! 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 Yo, who... 
Who's grabbing an explore? Dude, get out of life! Yeah, take that karma, you absolute loser! No, but seriously, who the hell grabs an explore? You are such a degenerate if you do that. Like, please, go outside, touch grass, or maybe just play, like, the competitive game modes, you absolute idiot. Hey, yo, I rate the femboy dress on the, on the banana. Why do I keep calling it a banana? I know it's the same color, but, like... What? What? Boing! Boing! Wow, that didn't send me anywhere, bro. What was that? Yay! Wait, we got a final? Oh, I didn't know finals were in this. Wait, hold up. Okay, so this is getting like a certain amount of people can qualify. Where's the qualification limit? Wait, can only- is there only one winner? Yo, what? Oh, it's a time limit. Oh, that's kind of cool. So everyone can qualify. Then again, that's kind of a short time limit for a map like Kraken Slam. But hey, that, that is cool, actually. I like that. I mean, yeah, it's definitely chill, which is the, kind of the point. So yeah, that may, it makes sense. Wait, can I stay on this? Oh, this is going to be a risk. Can I stay? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? I wanted to do, like, a cool thing at the end of the video where, like, a massive, like, you know, look at this. Like, wow, I played so many levels today, but, um, the matchmaking broke, so, can't really do that. 149?! Yo, I just played five levels, and I got two crowns. What? That's crazy! This is really good for crown- Wait, if you get five crown shards every time- Oh, the challenge- No, I hardly complete any challenges, what? How the hell did I get so many crown shards for that? That's probably a bug that'll get fixed soon. But hey, if you want free crowns, play this. Please, please. Bro, no! <laughs> hey, we got rollout. This level is so boring. This is probably one of the most boring maps in the entire game. No, I, actually, no, perfect match is the boring. The boring? The most boring. Perfect match and some fruit are the absolute worst maps in this entire game. They are so abysmally, abys, abysmally, be, abysmal. They're, they're, they're abysmal. They're really bad. Well, it's not that they're really bad. It's that they're too easy. So it's just the same. It's the same thing over and over again, and it's. It's really repetitive. You get the levels way too much. And like, no one dies from it, so it's completely worthless. I don't think we've ever had Hexagon with a time limit. So that's very interesting, I suppose. Well, apart from the normal, like, five minute timeout, you know what I mean. Unless in Hexagon Trials there's a time limit, but I don't think so. I think it's just a uh, certain amount of people have to die for the next round to start. But I can fall all the way to the bottom! Yo, okay, do not fall to the bottom, Jesus Christ. That is, uh, very dangerous. Yeah, d definitely don't fall to the bottom. Why am I actually kind of enjoying this, though? I think it's because it's just a new game mode in Fall Guys. And trust me, we don't get, like, new game modes like this very often. So this is very cool. Also, I hope they actually keep this in the game, because apparently it's only got a week limit. So I really hope they consider keeping this, because this is really good for, like new players and the swivel is not moving i hate this variation i can't tell if this variation's a bug or it's actually like a part of the game it's been in the game for that long and i actually died because i hate this variation bro this guy's just having fun man look at that <laughs> yeah look i beat three levels and i got 42 crown shards how that you're meant to get five per round um, guys, I was just going to end the video, and then I got this variation of Stomping Ground. What the hell is this? There's like fans and lily pads. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Please don't tell me I'm tripping. This is new, right? Oh my god, bro. Yo, you get sent flying. That's crazy. There's also lily pads like up there as well. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen the jungle fans before. Look at them. Please tell me this is new. I'm not tripping, right? I hope this means that more unseen variations will, will be coming back in this game mode. I hope so. That's what it means. Why is that fan so weak? This one's so strong. That's so weird, bro. That's interesting, though. Anyways, that's the video. What are you guys thoughts on the skin, by the way? Because it's damn fire. Um, yeah. I guess my next video will probably be when the next Fame Pass comes out in one week. So I'll see you there. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye.